process in which food consumed is digested, nutrients are absorbed, distributed to the tissues for utilization and waste depo are depo disposed of the body. Macronutrients Macronutrients constitu constitute the majority of individuals' diet, hence it can be said that they are taken in large amount. They, they supply energy and are needed for growth maintenance to perform activity. They include carbohydrate, protein, fats and water. The explanation of these macronutrients is given below. Carbohydrates Carbohydrates are the most important sources of energy. They contain the elements of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. The very first part of the name carbo means they contain carbon. The second part name HD, HYDR hydro means they contain hydrogen. The third part name 8 means that they contain oxygen. In all the carbohydrates, the ratio of hydrogen atom to oxygen atom is 2 is to 1. That is, uh, just like water, uh, we have H2O and carbohydrates are actu actually the organic co compounds that are important for different digestive operations in our body. There are a lot of differences between carbohydrates and the other elements important for nutrition like proteins and fat. Generally, it is seen that carbohydrates in diet need less amount of water in comparison to proteins and fats. There are two main types of carbohydrates that is simple carbohydrate and complex carbohydrate. Glucose, fructose, galactose, sucrose, maltose and lactose are called simple carbohydrates. These carbohydrates are soluble in water. These are crystalline. They are sweet in taste. These are called sugar. Starch, dextrins, glycogen and glucose cellulose are called complex carbohydrates or polysaccharides. These are not sweet in taste. They are insoluble in water. They are not crystalline. The main difference <coughs> between the types of carbohydrate is usually the difference between their chemical composition. Simple carbohydrates have a smaller chain of chemical composition in comparison to the complex one. Proteins Proteins contain carbo car carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and sometimes sulfur. Proteins are very large molecules so they cannot get directly into our blood. So they are turned into amino acids via digestive system. There are 23 amino acids. Out of this, 9 amino acids must be available in the diet. These amino acids are used by the body to create muscles, bones, nails, skin, hair and internal organs. Proteins form, form new tissues, repair the broken tissues, regulate balance of water and acids, transport oxygen and nutrients to make antibodies. Excessive use of protein in diet, especially animal protein, can result in heart diseases, osteoporosis, stroke and kidney stone. Body requires 0 0.6, 0 0.36 gram of protein per pound of the ideal uh, body weight. If protein are not taken in appropriate amount in diet, deficiency of disease named Maramus and Kavishkor are caused in children. Fats Fats contain carbon, oxygen and hydrogen in percentage of 76, 12 and uh, 12 respectively. Fats are necessary for the many body function. Fats keep us warm and give protection to organ. Fats also help in production of hormones. Uh, fats 